Why, hello there. I'm outside. I was just inside. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Hey folks, welcome back to Wilder Wood. Today is gonna to be a little bit different of a video. We're putting in a couple windows and putting in the door, getting the cabin all dried in. Putting in the two big windows especially was a challenge. They each weighed, I don't know, a couple hundred pounds, so I had some help. With help around, I was more focused on getting the windows in and making sure we used our time the best possible than I was filming. So you're just gonna see some snapshots of that process, but not quite as in depth as I would like to be. I've taken a lot of pride in doing this project DIY, a lot on my own. That said, it sure was nice to have an extra pair of hands, two extra pair of hands to get these windows in. Ready for this? Nope. Here you can see we're about to start lifting it and the flashing, the flanges on the right side is gonna start breaking off. I bought these windows secondhand. They'd never been installed before, but they'd been stored on their side for at least a year. That flange was already broken off, but we're clearly not making it any better with this method. Being stored on their side long term had a few other uh, implications, which unfortunately we're gonna have to deal with later. At this point, we decided it'd be best to have somebody inside to help guide the window up and in. So putting a little outward pressure, keeping the window from leaning against the sheathing and putting pressure on those flanges. And from here on, most of the trouble we run into were my fault. This first opening was really tight. I thought it was gonna fit, but we just didn't have the wiggle room to get the window in. Thankfully, it was only a matter of a 16th, maybe an eighth of an inch up top, and specifically in the left corner. So I was able to get up there with the jigsaw and open up the opening a little bit more. Now I knew the first window was gonna be tight, but for the second window, I knew it was gonna be too small, the opening that is. So before even starting, we went in and opened up the opening, making it so the window would fit in seamlessly. I also had time during this process to go in and add a second header board to these two windows. Uh, big shout out to Shane for pointing that out in the framing video. Day of, I secured these windows into place, first with some exterior screws, and then with some screws on the interior, just to really make sure it was stable. Later on, I went back and added some finish nails to get more support and also a little less obvious, a little less ugly than big screws inside. When I came back with the finish nailer, I realized that the window on the right was unfortunately not entirely square. I don't know if that was caused by our installation or the window being stored on its side for the better part of a year. Uh, you'll see in the door install, you know, I spent a lot of time making sure it was squared up and proper with the kind of flimsy frame relative to the door itself. I thought the windows would be stiff enough that as long as they fit in, they'd be square, but maybe we wedged on them or yanked on them in a way that pulled the actual frame out of square. Let me know in the comments, should we really be taking the time with every window to make sure it's going in square and staying square, or was it some sort of defect with the window? That just about does it for our window install here onto the door where I had a little more time to talk and explain what I was doing. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you showed your support with the like button. Coming up in the near future, we have a video on the roof install and then doing some interior framing. If you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and we'll keep building this cabin. We're getting dried in today, which is pretty amazing. Just gonna do a quick test fit on this door. I think it's gonna fit I've got like a half inch on either end, side to side and up and down, but you never know until you actually get it in there. So do a test fit, then I'm gonna get the snow cleaned off, assuming it's all good and get her in, we'll be dry. All right, we've got it all as clean as we can be and got flashing tape all around the outside. So now I'm gonna move the door, set it in, and then we'll start securing it and squaring it up. Both of the walls are fairly plumb, uh, but I think this side is a little more plumb. So I'm gonna face the door off of that side and then shim it appropriately. 
Getting the door into place was a little clumsy. I could see the bottom through the glass and I could see a ledge I was trying to get it on, but sort of like when you look into water, it really threw off my depth perception. After finagling with those windows, it was really nice to have an opening that was actually the proper size. The door just slid right in like a glove. Okay, I've got it in and I've got one screw holding it in place and it isn't quite square, the door. It's a little off to the side. So I'm using shims to get everything all plumb, all square. And then from there, we can really secure it down. Big shout out to the Excellent Laborer channel here on YouTube. I think I had his video going as I did this process. Uh, he's awesome, great teacher, clearly super knowledgeable, would recommend. Hello there. I'm outside. I was just inside. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Quick one today. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And we'll see you next time. In the meantime, go build something. <laughs>